Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another crypto and DeFi tutorial. So you want to send messages on the blockchain like the cool guys on Ethereum blockchain or any other EVM chains, either if it's BSC or Polygon. And like you in today's tutorial, we're going to learn exactly step by step without writing single line of code, how to send messages and coded messages as transaction on EVM chains, Ethereum virtual machine compatible chains, and it's going to be super easy. So you're gonna be able to send these messages like the cool guys. But before we start, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell button so you will be exposed to high quality crypto and DeFi tutorial. Now, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so before we begin, I just wanna show you how it looks like in the blockchain. So here we can see an example of a transaction from the Nomad Bridge hack. If you heard about the Nomad Bridge hack, one of the biggest decentralized hacks, $190 million were stolen. And if you don't heard about it, you wanna learn, learn more about it, check out my video in the description below or search for Nomad Bridge hack Johnny time on YouTube. And during the hack, some of the hackers were good guys, which means that they took the funds from the contract and they exploited the vulnerability in order to give it back later. And here you can see one of the transaction of the white hat hackers. And if you click here on the view input, you can see that he encoded a message inside a transaction and said it to the Nomad official wallet address. If you click here, encode to UDF8, you can see the message now in plain text. And this is a very, very cool way to deliver and transform messages on the blockchain messages that will never be deleted and you can do it in an anonymous way send it from one wallet to another it's you can literally see here that it didn't send any eth you can see here the value is zero eth but it just sent a message and it paid the gas fees so you're obviously gonna pay the transaction fees in order to send a transaction because this is a mined transaction on the ethereum blockchain this is just an example of how it looks like this is a whitehead hacker i plan to return the funds yada 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 Okay, so now you guys want to do the same thing. In this example, we're gonna do it on the Binance Smart Chain, but you can do the exact same thing on Ethereum blockchain or Polygon or any other EVM chain, Avalanche, Phantom, etc. So we're gonna use my Ether wallet. Now, bear in mind that there are a lot of scammers out there that are creating fake my Ether wallet sites. So make sure to use the link in the description below and only verify that it's https www.myetherwallet.com. So it's very dangerous to, to search in Google, for example, like what I'm doing right now, because there are a lot of scammers who spot themselves on the first results in Google ads or just SEO techniques. So this guy, this, this website is the real one. Just make sure that you're on the real one. Now, once you're in my Ether wallet, you're going to click here, access my wallet and you're going to click here, browser extension. Now I assume that you already have MetaMask wallet. You have to have a MetaMask wallet or a ledger wallet or any custodial wallet in order to send transactions on the blockchain, obviously. And here I have a MetaMask wallet with some BNB funded. I will need this BNB to send uh, with transaction fees to that my transaction will be included in the block and be added to the blockchain. I need to pay some gas fees and on the balance margin, the fees are BNB. Now let's say I want to send a message to another address. It could be smart contract or just a wallet, doesn't matter. It's as far as it's a valid EVM uh, address. And in that case, I picked this interesting address. This is a smart contract, a Gnosis safe smart contract. This is the multi-sig wallet that the PancakeSwap team owns. This is the wallet that controls most of the smart contracts on PancakeSwap, if it's the IFO or the, I don't know, the MasterChef or the, the one who is eligible to add new pools and new farms to the PancakeSwap. So this is very powerful wallet and it's controlled by some of the PancakeSwap admins, but we won't get to in how it works, how safes works and multi-sig wallets. This is gonna be in another video, so make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell button. So once this video is posted, you can find it out. Now. Let's, we just want to send a simple transaction, a simple message to this wallet address. So we're going to copy here this wallet address over here and we're going to go back to my Ether wallet and we're going to click here, send BNB. So we are kind of sending BNB, but the amount in that case will be zero. You can also send some BNB, but we don't, you don't have to in order to send a message. Now I'm going to copy again the address, verify it's the right address and then 
paste it over here. Now, in order to add an encoded message, you're gonna click here, advanced. And that's exactly, you see here, add data, this is the section when you're gonna write your message. But there is a trick. All right, so the trick is that you cannot actually write in uh, the message because you need to add hexadecimal data because the Ethereum blockchain does not understand letters like ASCII letters or any other thing. It understands only binary. And binary can be decoded to hexadecimals. It's all the numbers and, and kind of like uh, numbers from zero to F, okay? So if you see zero, X, A, very similar to addresses, one, two, this is kind of, this is called hexadecimal data. And you need to encode your message into hexadecimal, hex, hex, hexadecimal data. And in order to do so, you can use a free tool online. You guys just gonna search. So you can simply search in Google text to X or um, ASCII to X, it doesn't matter. I just use the first link, the, the Rapid Tables website, an awesome website. Now you want to convert your text to hexadecimal. So you just, we're gonna write the text in plain text in English. So, hey, pancake swap, pancake swap team, we love you. Keep up the good work. By the way, I think it also supports um, emojis. So let's try to add an emoji, it would be even cooler. So. Uh, we just added an emoji and here in order to use emojis you need to make sure that you change it from ASCII to UTF-8 Okay, because this format suppose character recording supports emojis and then change here to To none basically because you don't want to space it. you just want all the hexadecimal characters Connected together. So I'm gonna click here convert and this is your message encoded into hexadecimal encoding So you're gonna copy this kind of thing over here go back to my Ether wallet and then paste it over here Okay, so now your uh, Message is pasted all right guys So I've made a mistake and we were trying to send transaction with data to a smart contract and actually this smart contract has a fallback function which means that he a he basically expects some kind of data to get into this function, so we cannot do it with every smart contract. And just to continue with the example, we're just gonna do it for a normal wallet, but some of the smart contracts, it's gonna work out. In our case, let's just send it to a wallet. So I'm basically, instead of sending to the contract of the Gnosis Safe, we're gonna send to one of the admins of PancSwap, the, for example, the one who executed the last transaction of the multisig wallet, which is this guy, and he's probably one of the admins or developers on PancSwap, so we're gonna send the message to him instead. I'm going to copy his address and just paste it over here. And now this is basically the message. Hey, PancakeSwap team, we love you. Keep up the good work. Okay. Convert it to uh, basically ASCII or UTF-8. We can also add the emoji. Okay. If you want to add an emoji, again, change to UTF-8, convert, and that's copy just this value over here. Now you want to make sure that you have the zero X in the beginning because this is how the computer know or the input knows that it's hexadecimal and you're gonna paste the encoded value. So your message is encoded into hexadecimal characters and then you are attaching it to the transaction. You don't have to send any BNB, you can if you want, but in that case, I'm gonna send zero, click here next and confirm in send. And now the MyEther wallet will prompt your MetaMask wallet to send a transaction. It's already prepared it for you with the data. And then you're gonna click here, confirm. And now on the BSC mainnet, we sent a transaction with encoded data into the blockchain. You can click in here to view the transaction in the blockchain. You can see that it's still indexing. So it's not available, but let's try to refresh. And this is basically the wallet that we send the transaction. So if you can see here, uh, it just got a new transaction from Johnny Time, all right? So if you get into the transaction over here, and then you can see that it's zero BNB because we didn't send any value and there is an encoded message. Now, if you want to look at the message, you just click here to change it to UTF-8. And congratulations, guys, we sent a message on EVM chain, in our case, BSC, but you can do the exact same thing with Ethereum, Polygon, or any other EVM supported chain. So it's super, super cool, super useful sometimes. And let me know what you think about this video. If you have any questions and if you enjoy, make sure to like, leave a like on the video and subscribe for more interesting videos in the future. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.